welcome back students now we'll be learning about the next type of isomerism the important thing that is functional isomerism so what have we learn we have seen already uh, chain isomerism or nuclear or structural isomerism then we also seen the position isomerism right so now today's class will be studying about a different way of learning functional isomerism let's see so functional isomerism as the name suggests what does it mean here any two means two compounds have the same molecular formula but they possess different functional groups that is the functional those are called functional isomers once again two compounds any two compounds having same molecular formula but possess different functional groups there's those are called as functional isomers and the phenomenon is called functional isomerism that so here i have to explain or we will take different different examples suppose so let us start with the first uh, listen that is your alkenes we have, we have started with halo alkenes isn't it in halo alkenes over i mean okay let us go to grade level we have studied al hydrocarbons chapter that is your alkenes alkenes and alkynes suppose if i have to take an example right i am taking an alkyne what is that that is nothing but one butyne right so one butyl let us say the structure so ch3 single bond ch2 c triple bond ch now this is butane one butane one two three four now this one butane that is triple bond it is isomeric means this butane is an isomeric with one three butadiene one comma three butadiene okay i have to write comma in between wrong it is one comma three butadiene so what is this one comma three butadiene let's see so one two three four in the first position and the third position you have double bond so you fill in the hydrogen ch2 this is ch this is ch this is ch2 so here what happened these two are functional isomers why because they have same number of carbon atoms same number of carbon atoms but only differ in their here it is single bond it is uh, so here it is triple bond here it is double bond so your uh, triple bond is an isomeric or it may be isomeric with double bond sometimes so these two are also functional isomers now let me come back to your grade uh, 12th different functional groups which you have studied suppose if i take an acid right right uh, let me take an acid that is propanoic acid so propanoic acid how many carbons in propanoic acid you have three carbons one two three <laughs> propanoic acid so ch3 and ch2 so this propanoic acid is in or it is an or carboxylic acids are isomeric with esters <coughs> always remember acids are in isomeric with esters now which ester i'll be taking i'll be taking methyl ethanoid let us see how many are there so this is acid group now i'm writing ester group so ester group is methyl ethanoid see here one two three carbons one two three carbons but here, here the group is acid group here the group is ester group correct so acids are in isomeric with esters remember that let us take one more example cyanides are always in isomeric with isocyanides isocyanides so example is here i'm going to take rcn this is cyanide this is rnc this is isocyanide see here Car number of carbons of one only but cyano group is isomeric with isocyanide double triple bond with double bond acids with esters cyanides with isocyanides now let us see one more class next ketones are in isomeric with aldehydes okay let us write ketones are functional isomers with aldehydes let us write a ketone i'm going to take ch3 co ch3 this is what this is acetone so same thing i have to write with acetaldehyde why i said the number of carbon means the molecular formula should be same in both the cases so here one two three one two three but here the functional group is ketones here the functional group is aldehyde so what is the name of this this is acetaldehyde done now 
cyanide is over, acid is over, your uh, uh, ketones are over. Now, eaters are in isomeric with alcohols. Let's take. Suppose if I take an example of this. Same carbon. Right. 2 plus 2, 4. 2 plus 2, 4. 5 plus 5, 10. 9 plus 1, 10. So what is the name of this? This is called diethyl ether. Now, 4 carbon chain is what? But. This is butyl alcohol. So, ethers are in isomeric with alcohols. Means this is of functional group alcohol. Means functional uh, group isomers. Right? So, one is ether, one is alcohol. Right? Now, let's see. I think we have covered ethers, we have covered ketones, we have covered cyanides, we have covered acids. Now, let's come back and see one more. Nitroalkanes are in isomeric with alkyl nitrite. Let us see. Nitroalkane are in arrow double bond O. Here, R O N double bond O. See here. Nitrogen, nitrogen, oxygen, 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 nitrogen, nitrogen. So, are they now isomeric? Same molecular formula. Done? Right. So, now let us see further. Next class. Here, if I uh, take butene, okay, means alkenes. Alkenes are isomeric with cycloalkenes. So, butene, if I take butene example, 1, 2, 3, double bond. This is butene. Fill in the hydrogens, 3 hydrogens. Two hydrogens, one hydrogen. So one, two, three, four, C four. So cyclo compound. So I'll be writing one four. This is C four. This is nothing but cyclobutane. The same thing I can also write with methyl cyclopropane. So that is your CH three group. This is methyl cyclopropane. So, alkenes are in isomeric with cycloalkenes. Done? Yes. Right. So, now one more. Let's see anything else is there. Alkenes are over. Mm, butyl. Alkynes will write. So, alkynes are in isomeric with cycloalkenes. Alkynes are in isomeric with cycloalkenes. Let us take an example. Alkyne. 1, 2, 3, triple bond. Fill in hydrogens. And this is hydrogens. This is, okay, there is no hydrogen. Here it is. So, what is the name of this? This is 1 butyne. So, how many? C4. Now, I have to write with cycloalkynes. Let's say cycloalkenes. It is cyclobutene. Done? Yes, done. So, one more. Uh, your aromatic alcohols are in isomeric with phenols. Let me write that. Aromatic alcohols are in isomeric with phenols. Done? Yes, let's write that. Aromatic alcohols, OH, phenols, so this is, this is called phenylmethanol, this is called orthocrisol, sorry, so those two are isomers, so these are the different functional isomers students, right, so we have one more uh, class also like uh, amines, that is having same molecular formula and or also functional isomers. Those are 
uh, your primary amine, secondary amine and tertiary amine. So, amines also you can include here in this category. Okay, let us write that also. So, the last category I have covered alcohols, I have covered acids, I have covered ketones, I have covered um, that is your uh, alkynes, I have covered alkenes. Now, the last category that is primary, secondary and tertiary amines. So, primary, secondary and tertiary amines all have the same molecular formula. All have same molecular formula. Right? Yes. So, and their functional groups are different. Means primary, secondary and tertiary. So, if I write CH3, CH2, CH2, NH2. This is which one? This is primary amine. Next one. CH3, NH, C2H5. This is secondary amine. Last one. This is tertiary amine. Done. So, all these are having the same molecular formula, but important thing is they are means it, this is called as primary uh, mean this is called secondary this is called as tertiary so functional group means same molecular formula are also function these are also called as functional isomers and students so these are the different functional isomers hope this is clear thank you for watching i'll meet you again with the next category of uh, isomerism that is stereoisomerism